Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning, good morning. You all are beautiful looking today. I promised y'all a video of the Ruger 7722. I honestly came down here yesterday to try to do a video. I have the flu, so I'm sick. I came down here yesterday and my voice was so far gone, my phone wasn't even picking up what I was trying to say. Um, today, uh, my voice is starting to come back. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little shooting video with this. Uh, I've got some steel targets down here at 50 yards. Um, like always, we'll shoot, uh, see what we got, and we'll go from there. Um, there's nothing special about mine. I actually did not bring the magazines down to show you the difference between all of them, uh, which is a topic I wanna go over, but we'll go over that in a different video. Uh, today, we're just gonna do shooting video of the 7722. Um, now today we're not shooting ammo that I normally shoot out of here. I went to Walmart this morning when I got off work and I got a box of Remington, <laughs> think Remington Golden Bullet. Yes, I got a box of Remington Gold Bullets. I actually have never shot these before out of the Ruger. Um, I always just shoot federal match grade because that's what I found that the gun likes. But these are uh, high velocity and they actually don't even have a weight on them. Which is kind of crazy. They don't have a weight. I don't know what grain they are. But it, it doesn't matter. Let's get done with the talking and have some fun. I got steel down here at 50 yards. So let's see what we got. It don't like Remington very well. I can tell that right off the bat. <laughs> it shoots to the left about two inches with these Remingtons. All right, let's put a couple on paper. Oh, wow. Alright, there's 10 rounds. We're not even going to walk down there. This thing does not like Remington's at all. Um, guys, if you'd like to know anything more about this gun, I really do like this gun. It's my squirrel gun. I bought this gun brand new a few years ago. <coughs> Sorry, uh, I am sick. Um, like I said, I bought this gun brand new a couple years ago. Uh, Ruger actually does not make these anymore. Um, if you find one, if you would like one, um, I think Ruger stopped making the, these uh, about two years ago, so you might still be able to find a couple of them that are out there floating around that are new. If you want one, now is the time to find them because they're going to start drying up, guys. Um, I really like mine. Uh, like I just said, I uh, mentioned, uh, I bought this gun. I use it for squirrel hunting. Um, I use it for varmint sometimes. Um, but I really, really, really do like my rifle. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. They are pricey. <laughs> um, 
but they're, in my opinion, worth what you're going to spend for them. Um, but that's all I got for this. I have another surprise for you guys um, that I'm going to put on here. I am going to do a video this weekend of the Benelli M4 down here. And uh, I'm going to also work on a video of the Chris Vector 45 for you guys. <coughs> yes, we do have both of those guns. Um, I know both of those are kind of a higher end um, firearm. A lot of people call bullshit on them. But I have them here. Just to prove to you guys that we have them. So you... Right there we go, baby. They are not airsoft. These are real firearms. We will have videos on these come this weekend. Uh, like always, guys, y'all are awesome. I love you. Uh, any of y'all that are traveling this weekend, it is Memorial Day weekend. Please, please be safe. There's a lot of crazy people out there. <coughs> um, but most importantly, have fun with your family. Enjoy the time that you get with them. Not everybody gets time to spend a whole, uh, not a lot of people get a whole lot of time to spend with their family anymore. So please cherish every moment that you get with it. Um, but until next time, guys, I love you. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later.